Okay, we are here with Nick Breslin, head coach Charlie Genex, and Tommy Rosario of the Kane University men's volleyball team. Just victorious 3-1 over Endicott College in the opening round of the NCAA tournament. Going to play Springfield College in the quarterfinals next week. Um, what are you guys looking forward to against Springfield? Nick, we'll start with you. Uh, we're definitely looking forward to getting on block against that fast offense they run. Uh, coach Sullivan does a great job, and so does uh, Luis Garcia Rubio. He spreads the ball very well, so it's going to be exciting. Uh, Tommy, what do you think was the most important factor in today's match? Uh, today's match, I felt like passing was very important because, as people know, our middles are very strong. So if our passing was a little off, then the game would be much harder than that. And, Coach, um, what can you say about your opponents, Andy I mean, I got to take my hat. I think George, George and his staff did an absolutely phenomenal job. Um, you know, I think we, we prepared pretty well as far as um, game planning. We, we had a pretty good idea of what they were going to be doing. I thought in-game adjustments, uh, they did a really good job of figuring out what was working, running with it, you know, getting points and bunches. Um, they were extremely gritty. I, you know, Endicott, I think adjustments were awesome. They executed really well. And the fact that they just never quit. I mean, they, you know, we get up on teams all the time in our gym and they quit. I mean, I'm going to be honest with you. And they, they just didn't go away and I thought that they did a great job. Great job. Any other questions? Um, so, you guys are advancing to Springfield and Tommy, you're a senior. So, what do you, what is next for you and what is next for the team in the tournament? Um, I would say our number one priority right now is to get healthy on our whole team. Uh, we do have a couple of injuries, but I believe uh, that's why the coach recruited more than six people to play. And that uh, um, the next couple of weeks or week, we're going to have to practice because every team is different. And from there on out, it's quite hard. Um, and do you guys have any messages for your fans that came out to support you today? Uh, yeah, we, uh, we thank everyone who comes out to our games. It's, it's a long season. It's January to May almost. And uh, yeah, we appreciate everyone who comes. Um, Nick, how's it feel to get your first NCAA tournament victory? Very excited. Um, we're not done yet. We're looking for more. Um, we got a young squad, but we're hungry. And Tommy, what were you focused on going into today's match? What was going through your mind in pregame? Um, today, I was focusing on uh, watching what the other team do every time we had a perfect pass because, like their coach said, he knows that we have strong middles. So I was just focusing on being loud, aggressive, and getting our pins open because we can't win. Volleyball game, just middle attacking. And Charlie, how were you able to tinker with your lineup today? I mean, the injuries, you know, Jay Kaufman's not here. I mean, he's been our starting L1, starting uh, one of our starting outsides for pretty much the entire season. I mean, uh, he went down earlier in the week, but like Tommy said, you know, we don't have just six guys. I have, we recruited a lot of really, really good volleyball players in our gym that are. Uh, constantly being prepared to play in big matches like this. So we made some adjustments. We worked really hard the last two days of practice to figure things out. And then as the match went on, I think we saw some things from as a coaching staff that um, it's not that guys weren't doing a good enough job, but I thought we had other guys that would just fit the role better in this particular match. And, and we were able to get make some adjustments from that perspective to uh, put us in a situation that would be able to uh, you know, help us come out successful. Coach, who do you think stepped up today with your line of changes? Uh, I think Nick Brzezinski coming off the bench. I mean, looking at his numbers, I mean, you know, he did. He, he had two kills, two errors on nine swings in, in pretty much one set, which is, you know, that's not great, obviously, but I thought it was a the timely way he played. His, you know, he had a couple of big blocks for us. Um, you know, it was the energy that he brought at that particular moment. Kevin Barrett coming off the bench. Kevin hasn't really set that much, um, especially of late. And he came off the bench and he directed us and he. he stuck to the game plan that we put in place and did a pretty good job of distributing the ball to who we needed to at the right moment, and I think that was key. So those two guys, I think, coming off the bench specifically did a great job. All right, well, thank you guys. Good luck. Congratulations on your win today. Thanks.